basically asking us to create people who can be a part of um, innovation. Right? Who has an idea what the innovation is? I think most of you does, but you don't know what that is. I don't do. I mean, but this is like a big buzzword since, I don't know, since when? Since like five years, maybe? And this is another buzzword for uh, this KO Edge, uh, or the Edge uh, program, the entrepreneur. Who are, uh, who thinks you are entrepreneur right now? Okay, all right, some, some of you are, yes, okay. And I'm pretty sure some of you are, you don't recognize you are, but you are probably. So here are some definitions I would like to use and maybe share with you, at least for seven days, at least for this intensive course. So this is a uh, definition taken from the book called Managing Innovation. So it's a, it's a great book. I think there's, Victor, can you find me uh, Managing Innovation there? Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. So it's a, it's a popular book among um, US MBA um, classes. It's about um, innovation and its management. And in that book, thanks, uh, here's the definition in this book, is a process of turning opportunity into new ideas and of putting these into widely used practice. And of course, if you look into different books, then you find different definitions. That's, you, you, if you go into 20 books, then you see 20 definitions, or maybe 25 definitions. So I don't, um, so I'm not saying that you should, um, I don't know, follow this, you should believe this, but let's just um, stick to this definition for the KOH Intensive Workshop. And because there's a reason. So I bolded two parts of this sentence. The first part is turning opportunity into new ideas. That's one part. The second part, the later part, is of putting these into widely used practice. And for those um, uh, Japanese speakers, um, this is the uh, translation that was um, created by Professor Tamada. He is the uh, uh, he trans he translated the the book called uh, uh, Dilemma of Innovation. Yeah. And he is a professor at uh, Kanzei Gakuin uh, University. And he said that it's Soshin Fuku. This might be the good uh, Yonmojuku. That's the Jap Jap Chinese character used in Japanese language um, to represent the innovation. So Soshin is the, the first half, turning opportunity into new ideas. And Fuku is the, the later part. So I think that really um, suits well with the, with the uh, English definition. And our focus, our KOH focus, will be the first half, turning into op turning opportunity into new ideas. So finding opportunity and turning into new ideas. Because later half, we cannot do this in seven days. Well, we can try, but it's very difficult. So even though we even though we can be, uh, we can get a great help from the internet and everything, but it's still difficult. So our main focus will be the, the first half changing opportunity into new ideas, or finding opportunity that can be changed into uh, new ideas. Okay? So that's, that's the part, first part. And then this is another buzzword that I would like to um, give our definition for, for this program. So this is a definition taken from the businessdictionary.com. Oh, it's a, it's a great uh, website if you're, if you're like confused with the jargon when you're reading um, newspapers. It's a great website to check out. But in here it says, um, someone who exercises uh, initiative by organizing a venture, venture to take benefit of an opportunity and blah, blah, blah. And so that, you know, that's what basically entrepreneur is. And I really like this part, the uh, Joseph Schimpedag. And you probably, most of you probably heard about him. He's a big um, uh, scholar. And um, his definition says, he says the entrepreneurs are greatly value self-reliance and strive for distinction through excellence, and three, are highly optimistic, otherwise nothing will be undertaken, and always favor challenges of medium risk, and neither too easy nor ridiculously big. Okay? So when you follow this um, definition, I can probably see more hands going up, probably. Do you consider yourself a self-reliance person? and striving for distinction by excellence, I think probably many of you resonate with the definition here. And another addition to this buzzword for the next 
uh, the Minister of Education, they say, in, in Japanese, they say global entrepreneur. And global entrepreneur doesn't mean much to me. I mean, who is global entrepreneur? So I put entrepreneur in global context because I think it, it, it makes more sense to me. So here, here's what I define the, the, the entrepreneur in global context. So entrepreneur that is interested in global trends and aware of global changes and somewhat aware of one's identity in global context and curious and careful about other cultures, customs, and languages and respect them. And not afraid to communicate with others by any means aiming for border, borderless value creation. So this is what I consider all of you are. I thank you for applying for, for the program and I saw, I read all your resumes and I read all your um, application form. And you are the ones who filled the form so much, okay? So that I had to stroll for several uh, times. And then you, that's why you're here. And I saw a lot of stories, a lot of um, related um, comments that you are uh, one of these guys. So that's why you're here, and we're really happy to have you. So two things um, I've talked about. I've talked about innovation, the, the definition we're using here, and entrepreneur, that the definition we're using here. But our real focus for this program is not innovation nor entrepreneur. The real focus for the course is innovative and entrepreneurship, okay? This is different from what we just discussed. So our focus is innovative is one of the primary causes for innovation. So just like the, the definition of innovation said, turning opportunity into ideas. So that part is a innovative. You need to think innovative, you need to uh, see things innovatively, and you need to discuss and work as a team in an innovative direction. So this innovative or innovativeness is the focus. And the second focus is entrepreneurship. It's the must have for any type and kind of innovator, I would say. Because um, innovator without entrepreneurship, it doesn't, I don't know, I cannot visualize a person like that. Probably all the innovators are practitioners of entrepreneurship. He or she may not be a startup CEO, but still have the same spirit and same um, focus as an entrepreneur. So these two are the key focus for the, the program. So, so I want to go you know, careful about using the term innovation and innovative and entrepreneur and entrepreneurship because these two things, we think this is different. And so the other way to put it is innovation and entrepreneurs are effects and innovative and entrepreneurship is a cause. So if we put this in a cause and effect form, then these two can be a great big cause for your entrepreneur, becoming an entrepreneur, or um, initi you know, um, initializing the innovation in the future. So that's how we carefully um, design our program. Okay, so a little bit into the, the, the meat. Um, so I've just talked about innovation and innovative. So, how is it different? Are you using these two words carefully? Or are you just saying it is a innovation, it's because of innovation? Or are you, you, are you saying it's innovative because it's innovative? So, I want to show you some examples of both innovation and innovative, separately, respectively. So, okay, actually two innovation examples. I'll show you a video. 